And came to me the other day. His right leg was crippled. He had a cast on there. He said, Pastor, can you pray for me? I said, yes, we're going to believe Jesus that he will heal you. Young man King, actually it was two days ago, but he came to, to yesterday, took the cast off. All the bruises are gone. He went back to the hospital. Praise God, he couldn't find no more ailments in his leg. Jesus healed the man's leg. I didn't do it. God did it. This is no fairy tale. We're going to have testimonies. I'm not a healer. He's a healer. I ain't like them mega preachers who stage the miracles and paying for the lie to sit in the wheelchair. No, 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 no. This is the real power of the Holy Ghost. And the best miracle is to see a soul come to Jesus. The best miracle is to see a soul receive salvation and be saved from a burning hell. It's not enough just to preach about miracles, but must we must preach repentance. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, for the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, because it makes no sense for your body to be healed, but your soul is not saved. Hallelujah. He can deliver you right now from drugs and crack and nightmares and alcohol. You might have been abused as a child. You might have got molested. I'm going to pray that God will heal you from the flashbacks of the past, from when you were sexually abused and you were sodomized as a child. We're going to pray that God will deliver you from the flashbacks of the past. Hallelujah.